did things turn in their direction in the third quarter? I thought we came out and had a great first half. We were playing. Defense was good, sharing the ball. Second unit came in, really bought it. Came out OK, a little flat start the third quarter. But at the end of the third, um, I thought we got some great looks. We just missed some wide open shots. Um, and I truly trust our guys that they'll make those. Those are shots that we like the process. We'll continue to shoot them, I believe, in my guys. And what can you tell us about Tyus leaving the game with an injury? Uh, just, you know, just finding out now. Um, he'll be reevaluated tonight and see where he is in the morning. Um, obviously, left with, a, with an ankle. Um, Brian, this obviously isn't the first game where you guys have struggled to make shots, even that are good. Looks. Sure. Do you see a theme in that? Is it maybe it's not the best shot for that player at that time? Or, like, how do you kind of think about that? No, I mean, I think we got great looks. I mean, I. Tr I mean, Jordan and, and Corey got a good amount of threes up. I mean, wide open shots, Kyle. Um, I, I like the, our process. We got into the teeth of their defense. Um, the ball didn't go in. What I loved that we did, though, tonight was we didn't let the game go. We got down a little bit, and then we got basically to a one possession game at the end. So our guys kept plowing, kept going ahead, even when they didn't make shots. And sometimes that can drop your energy. It didn't drop ours. So I, we're showing some good growth. The rebounding wasn't there, but the defense did look good at times. What did you like about it in particular? I liked how we, you know, we did foul a little bit much, but like we contested shots. We were physical. We scrapped. Um, our defense was good. We held them to 23 in the fourth. Um, good first half defense. You know, they they shot a low field goal percentage. So we're seeing some growth in that area for sure. Um, and then just last one, but um, why? What was your thought process in not going back to Delon? He played just six minutes tonight. Uh, with Tyus out, we decided, you know, Jordan was, was started the fourth, and they made a good push. So I kept that group in there. They had, got a good rhythm, and they were the ones that made a push. I would have gone back to them, but I, I felt like they were they brought some energy. So I, I trusted those guys to finish the game. Brian, that third quarter, aside from the making shots defensively, how much of a frustration can it be with the way that they play in that mid-range area and bait people into fouling them and sending them to the line? That's their game. They've been doing it for a long time. You know, Jimmy Butler and those guys. Uh, yeah, we did foul a little bit, probably too much. But again, I think our defense showed some growth tonight. Um, and when you're missing shots, sometimes, like I said, your energy can drop. Our guys are continuing to play hard and fight through things. I think we showed good at fighting through adversity tonight. I know the rebounding battle didn't go in your favor, but even without Marvin, I know it was a concern coming into the game without him. What did you like about the tenacity that the team still had as a whole, trying to crash the glass at least? I, I think our physicality was good tonight, and I think that really showed in the fourth quarter as the game got tighter. We got stops, and when we got stops, we got out in transition and got some easy baskets. That's always the key for us is we're going to play off our defense, and we got to keep building that. Jordan had you know, a tough shooting night, like you alluded to, but he had 10, 10 assists, one turnover. What did you see from a creation standpoint from him? Uh, I liked how he got into the teeth of the defense. I liked how he played aggressive. This is what I've told Jordan. Play. I want Jordan to be aggressive because I think he's a good passer. Probably shouldn't have had one turnover. I don't know if that was a turnover on that one. That was a double dribble. That was, But uh, Jordan, Jordan can see the court. Jordan can play make for us, and that's what we're expecting him to do, and he's showing that he can do that. Uh, was there was uh, Miami zone an issue in that third quarter? Because it seemed like it kind of had you guys a little flustered just a little bit. Yeah, I, I think they've been doing that for years. I like the shots we got. We got into the teeth of the defense. We hit, missed some chip shots. And then once we got in the teeth, we actually kicked out to our shooters. And I don't think, you know, I would want the same shots again if we played again tomorrow. So I, tr I like the process that we had. Sometimes that's the game. They just didn't go in tonight. Um, Johnny Davis, two minutes tonight. Um, do you see him getting more minutes after the deadline, or what's your vision for him going forward? I think I talked about this before the game. Johnny's been down with our uh, G League, the go-go, and he showed making strides. And I put him out there tonight, and he did the same thing the game before. Great, great energy, great defense hustle. He did the same thing again tonight. So, like, that's a big part of our development as an organization, utilizing our G League, our staff. Or we're kind of just basically one organization. So his growth has been starting down there. When he came back here, he's getting rewarded, and he, he played a good game for us tonight. What did you see on your defensive glass? Was it an inordinate number of long rebounds given up, or what did you see? 
I do think there were some long rebounds because both teams didn't shoot the ball well from three tonight. So there were there were shots that were just loose going up in the air that we didn't get. Um, and I think what they end up with 19 second chance points. But that's a that's an area that we've been focused on, and that's an area we're going to continue to focus on. Corey deserves all the credit for his improvement, the type of person he is, and how he works at his craft. Um, the guy's very diligent about his game, um, and when you're when you're like that, he's a great example for the rest of our his teammates. You're going to continue to improve, um, and I think you're seeing that on both ends of the floor for him this year. So, I think he's going to continue to get better too. And can you just add on, add on to that? You talk about his growth as, as a ball handler, a guy that can now take it to the cup. Yes, I think that. That's something he's added to his game. Um, the three-point shooting, his movement is great, but now the teams can get up on him. He can play make, get to the rim, and play make for others too. So he's adding stuff to his game like good players do. Going back to Johnny Davis, he's someone who's been around him all the years. How would you describe his development at this point? I've been pleased with Johnny's development. Um, I was the one who worked with him before um, during the season. Um, this guy's made some growth. Um, and that's what we're looking for for all our guys. And I think he's getting rewarded by, you know, I put him, I played him tonight because I, he has shown growth. Um, so I was pleased with his effort tonight. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, everybody. I think um, we got some sort of like a habit that we got to change is uh, how we open up the third quarter. I think we facing a lot of good teams until halftime. And then when halftime comes, mm -hmm. and then after halftime comes, and we go out a little sluggish, a little rusty, and uh, we got to tighten up. I feel like that's where our games a lot of time run away. And uh, if we can fix that and be better than that, we're going to be uh, be able to win more games. Jenny, it looked like you guys had a lot of good looks in that third quarter, especially when shooting went a little bit cold. Do you know what the theme is there when the looks are kind of the, the ones that you want and you're playing good defense on the other end and things just aren't falling? Sometimes you just got to go through it. I mean, we are, we got good shooters, uh, confident shooters. I feel like if, if you have an open shot, everybody wants you to take it. And that's the mentality we gotta we got to have. And I feel like we did it tonight. And some balls didn't go in. But we're going to continue shooting. We're going to get better. Um, I believe in the group. Believe in us. And um, yeah, that's about it. For either of you guys, what was the focus on defense? It looked like even though, even if you didn't you know, fluster them that much, you kept them at a low shooting percentage. Uh, yeah. Um, challenge and uh, kind of play on your toes with their best players. Make them uncomfortable. Uh, I mean, we held a lot of guys that are really good for them to a pretty good a pretty good number, um, you know, but they're really good at getting to the line. Um, they're really good at converting those kind of pain points and um, rebounding. Yeah, we got beat pretty bad on the boards too. So when they get second and third chances, uh, team guys are too good in this league to give those chances to, and they, they ended up converting on those. I feel like um, we trust more our guys regarding one-on-one. -on -one. Um, we help less. Uh, we count on, on our last last guy on defense to come and help and then rotate from there. I feel like it's been really good for us. We bumped up our physicality. We're boxing out better. And um, honestly, like I'm really proud of the group. Like We, we, like we, we defended really good today. Mm -hmm. I think so. Uh, shots didn't go in for us. It was a close game versus a good team, physical team. I have a lot of – like optimistic stuff from this game like seeing the group kind of being physical and guarding I mean it's good yeah and to kind of bounce off what Denny said like w as a team we have a lot of bad habits that have built up over the last two years that we need to fix and um, it's not going to happen overnight and it's not going to happen in a week um, but I hope you guys and the fans can see how we're kind of unwinding those bad habits and putting a much better foot forward um, and that happens with, you know, our defense first. And we're not changing much of anything, really. There's been a few tweaks that we've done, but that's really it. And we're putting more of an emphasis on that side of the ball. And, um, 
yeah, it's just it's it's a belief, like Denny said, it's confidence, and it's just kind of a focus towards that side of the ball first, um, and then you know we're scoring enough to to play with these teams um, over the last five games. That's that's without a doubt. Denny, what did you think of Corey's scoring night? What can you say? I mean, he did the, he did everything tonight. Um, he was confident. He was decisive. Um, and I give credit to him because. You know, I, I think he knows that too, and, and, and I, I, don't, I don't care to say the truth. I feel like uh, this, these last couple of games, he, uh, he shot the, the ball uh, a little bit less than what he uh, used to. I feel like, and he still kept shooting it, and he still kept shooting it and still believing in it. He's a great shooter, and he knows that, and I feel like that's a big, big, big step for him to uh, that he did today is, like, continue shooting, and he had one of his best shooting nights that I've seen him shoot. So being able also to put it on the floor and like guys close out to him because he's a great shooter is being the next step, being able to go downhill and finish. And you think he did it tonight. And I think it was a, it was a great night for him and for our team, honestly. Yeah, um, it's exactly right. It's growth. Um, teams are starting to guard me a certain way, and it's been a concerted effort of mine to like take advantage of that and to grow my game to make me even tougher to guard. And you know, Miami's defense, like you said, is tough. They're physical. Um, they're really good with um, you know getting deflections and being disruptive. And the whole thing with them is is just being. Um, being aggressive and like not second guessing yourself and if you have an open shot you got to shoot it because that window's going to be gone in the blink of an eye because they're that good so um coming out and being really aggressive and trusting my instincts and uh it ended up turning out pretty good tonight um uh for me and for the team we had a lot of great shots and a lot of them didn't fall i mean shooting 26 from the three is not characteristic of us and um, if we get those kind of shots, the majority of nights we play, we're going to be in really good shape. Thank you guys. Cool. Good night.